Hey, good morning, church family. God bless you on this 15th day of July, Thursday, the 15th already. <clears throat> my, oh, my, again, how time flies. Well, we don't have any reading today. It's a reflection day. Well, we don't have any reading. Of course, we're going to read the Word of God, but, excuse me, it's a reflection day on our 555. The nation that we're praying for, again, we're still in the continent of Africa, as Gambia, a 1.8 million, <clears throat> excuse me, population, evangelical Christians, about 13,000. The largest religion is Muslim, but the fastest growing religion is Christian, all right? So there's the nation. If you want to keep them in prayer today, the nation of Gambia, Gambia. Let me put the marker for tomorrow. And then we're going to go ahead and pray. I have the prayer request. I have our world maps. And we're all set to go. Father, again, we thank you for this Thursday, our last day of VBS, Lord. The kids are having a, a blast, Father. And I pray, Lord, that no matter what goes on in their life, they'll always remember that Jesus is fun. God is fun. The Holy Spirit is fun. And in their heart, they'll understand that God is a good God and that salvation is a free gift through Jesus Christ. And I thank you for that, Father. Now, Father, as we take time to pray today, as we see a world turned upside down, we continue to pray for the people of Cuba, Lord, as their Internet was shut down. They believe by China again, Lord, China, China, China. But we pray, Father, that uh, the reports that we're hearing of the protesters being tossed into prisons and being killed, Lord, are not true, Lord, but that these people can get true, true freedom, Lord. Father, I saw firsthand the destruction that communism has brought to that land. We pray for those people. We pray for the leaders of that country that their hearts would be supernaturally softened in Jesus' name. Father, in South Africa, we pray now as they, the looting and the destruction and the burning that's still going on, but now there's going to be shortages of food and fuel and all these other things that can turn into major chaos there. We pray for the people of South Africa, Lord. Many Christians there, many Christians, we pray for them, Lord. We continue to pray for Haiti, Lord, that things will stabilize there. Lebanon, Lord, that things will stabilize there. We pray for the nations, Lord. We lift up the nations of the world, Father. Earth to God, earth to God. This world is hurting, Lord. But we know this world is getting set up for the entrance of the evil one, the Antichrist. But before he is revealed, I thank you, Father, that Jesus Christ is going to be revealed for those who are eagerly looking for his return. I'm one of them, and I know many are today, Lord. So I thank you for that. We pray for the United States of America. Lord, we pray for our executive, legislative, and judicial branch. We pray for Biden and Harris in charge of the executive branch. We pray for all the people in the executive branch. We pray for our legislative branch. Schumer and Pelosi are in charge of the, that area. And our Supreme Court, which is uh, uh, Judge Roberts, Lord, we pray over them. We bind up the evil, Lord. We slow it down. Slow it down till we get closer to that day of the rapture, Lord. You said our prayers will hasten the return of the Lord. Maranatha, praise you, Jesus. We pray also for all the court systems that are out there, appellate courts, county courts, federal courts, on and on, Lord. We pray, Father, for the governors, Governor Murphy of New Jersey, all that work in New Jersey in the House, the Senate, Lord. Again, we bind up the evil ones. We loose the godly ones, Lord. We pray for governors of other states, many good governors, many bad governors, Lord. We pray for them, Lord. Father, we pray for uh, different things that are going before the courts, Lord. That honesty will come through. We pray for the, the immigration problem on our southern border, Lord. We pray 
over these children and ladies that they won't get caught into sex trafficking and the, the guys that they won't get into gangs and drugs, Lord. We pray over them. In Jesus' name, we pray over our nation. Lord, we lift up prayer requests that have come into our church this week, Lord, and we pray, Father. I pray for Rachel, Lord, for a healing in her body and others, Lord, that are fighting many things. We pray over these prayer requests. Oh, God in heaven, we thank you that you are a God that answers prayer. We thank you for that, Lord. We don't understand all the aspects of prayer, but we also know the disciples saw great power in prayer, for they said, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples to pray. We say today, Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us how to stand in your word, how to see into the spirit realm, Lord. And we thank you for that. Now, I thank you for each and every person that is with me today, this morning, afternoon, or evening, Lord. I pray your blessings upon them in a great and mighty way. Thank you for this Thursday. Thank you that you are good. Thank you for safety as we travel, no matter where we go. The angels of the Lord encamp about those who reverence him. We thank you for this and so much more. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, God is good, church family. You have a great Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow.